Yeah, I put my old pop-up up and I've got it nailed to the ground and also bungeed down to the trailer. Uh, yeah, so uh, I got them pressure washed, but I was reading the label on this and it says use it between 65 and 85 degrees, not in a strong wind. Um, do not use it indoors. About the only time it's 80 out here is like 4 in the morning. Uh, I got to think about this one now. How am I going to do this? Uh, dang. All right. Well, this was the first application to right about here because the sun was still on it. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a second application. I even found a label. Uh, yeah, we're going to, I'm not going to use the spray stuff though. We're going to go with the, uh, the brush on to see how that works. So I got the little parts in this pan. I'm going to go ahead and clean them up. And then take this pan over there and brush some of this on over there and see if it's going to work any better. Well, I guess I'm going to have to go to plan B. Uh, something broke in the wand on my pressure washer. And uh, yeah, I had to pull the plug to get it to shut off. Yeah, I think, I think something seal broke or something but yeah i guess uh we're gonna let all this stuff dry that uh that stuff was just turning into like a goo that wasn't coming off very good so i guess it's gonna be wire brush putty knife i got most of it rinsed off but eh, i do have a backup pressure washer if needed but It could be a couple things uh, for the seal or o-ring the blue could be I'm running 2,000 degree water through this thing it's 106 out here right now but that water is boiling hot so I'm gonna have to take that gun apart and like I said before this stuff says it works best between 65 and 85 degrees so oh well figure out what else to do with it well it looks like I'm gonna be pulling out the backup pressure washer uh, I don't have any o-rings that fit this um, I'm pretty sure this is where the problems at um, it goes goes in here and then in here pretty sure something's happened there because they wouldn't shut off and this is what the handle hooks to so it's just running constant so yeah I, well I got a brand new one out there so I've had this thing probably six seven years now so I think it's it's done pretty well for what what it is and So yeah, brought some parts in and I want to do, I guess, some manual sanding on it because that paint stripper, it, it sort of worked, but it's just too hot out there for it. And then the other thing I'm working on is I got these screws to loosen up, but these are really in there it's basically I'm gonna to have to probably grind them out but uh, so when I go to the hardware store that's some long screws I'm gonna add six of them to the list all right guys well I'm done for the day um, yeah a lot of work here thanks for watching